Hi. Hi everybody, I'm Ishai Dierstein. I'm a photographer and I teach people how to take pictures. And today we're in the vlog number five. And I want to talk today about starting a business. Starting a business in photography. How do you start? What are the first stuff you do in building a business in photography? The first thing is learn about how to do business. Learn how to how to price yourself. Learn how to build up your business. It's like I always say to people, go to uh, go to accountant and open a business by him. He'll be able to figure out the best deal for you and how much to pay less less uh, taxes and all this stuff. I'm not talking about taxes and stuff. Got the, you have accountants. Those are the people to talk to. I can teach you photography and I can tell you how to how to run a business in photography. Next thing is next thing is after you open the account business, start doing go to somebody to get advice on how to market your business. Build a business plan. What I'm doing this year and what am I what do I want to get to in the next year? How much money I wanna make in the next year? And then we start building up who are my clients? Which niches I work in? The niches in a lot of niches in photography. You know, you start as niches is taking pictures of kids, taking pictures of grown-ups, newborn. You could pick your your clients and then start putting out your work. Show people. Say in your neighborhood, put ads in your neighborhood and say, okay, I have a deal today. I'm starting a photography business and I want some people and take pictures for people from a certain price, a low price. And then, because I need a portfolio. Then it starts building a portfolio, start working in different places, start doing projects with different friends. Like, you can have different culture. Like me, I started doing model, mo model photography. So I did a... Uh, I did as a... Uh, Taking pictures in uh, in costumes of uh, gypsy costumes. I did it a couple years ago, and it was really nice. So I use this work to show people. And the next thing is, when you work with clients, is please uh, when you work with a client, sign. What are you doing? When is he going to pay you? How much is he going to pay you? And when are you going to give him the pictures? So you say, I say, I'll give you pictures in two weeks. One week, two weeks, two days, three days, and they say, "On this date, you have to pay me." And if you don't pay me, it's best to take to take money in the beginning. You know, take take a fifty percent before you take pictures. You know, to save the date, and uh, people that won't cheat you. And that's really important to know about your business. And af after all of that, you start doing marketing. Open a Facebook page. Open a Instagram Instagram account, start putting up your photos there, open a Pinterest account, start uploading photos to there, open a YouTube channel, start talking about your photography, take videos of yourself, put clips of your photos, a Facebook page, and uh, Twitter, start opening accounts, the best thing is to start with Facebook, and then build it up in Instagram, and then go to Pinterest. And Instagram reads a lot of uh, a lot of clients to you, and a lot of people to see your website and stuff. You could bring people to your campaigns and stuff. And the next thing is, you know, photography equipment is expensive. You have to put up money on the side and say, because cameras break, lens break. You need a new lens. You need a new a new flash. You need, hey, it works out. You know, you need some new batteries. You need some. A case for the camera, you need this, you need that, you know, it's gonna be expensive. And you also have to know that you're making enough money to cover all this stuff. Because when you don't cover everything, you know, it's, when you work as a, as a photographer, you need two cameras, you need, you need pay for people, you need pay uh, bills. You also have uh, insurance on your 
new photography gear because photography gear some people have like a few hundred thousand dollars maybe two hundred thousand dollars i would say i have gears of over like thirty thousand dollars easily but it's, you know it's you build up your i would say the people photographers only buy what you need don't get getting don't get crazy and start buying anything you know you don't really need a lot of this stuff it's if you're taking pictures of portraits why would you need a micro lens no maybe one day i'll look at macro i'll do macro but the best thing is please i i tell people you give advice to people buy what you need there's a lot of expenses marketing expenses pay for your marketing pay for your facebook if you don't do your Facebook page, you pay somebody else to do it. I mean, your Instagram account, you could pay some kid just run your Instagram account. Some of these kids, professional and this stuff, you know, find a small young kid or whatever, you know, a teenager from your cousin or whatever it is, and you pay him, pay him uh, money, and he'll do the work for you. You know, it's really interesting. You could also find somebody in Fiverr and stuff like that. But and after that is when you start working, uh, so building up your your clients you'll start making more money and then you could and then you could decide to go to, to more courses take only study learn download free ebooks anything you could find about photography youtube you could go into the youtube channel of bnh my channel of course and different channels you have a lot of uh, different ways to do marketing for your business you could work with you could work with different people you can work with a graphics artist you can work with a hairstylist and a makeup and you can start doing uh, you know photography for kids you know photography for grown-ups and work is a is a work is a team you go to people's houses and then you take photography plus makeup and stuff like that you could make up a whole deal and you could get more businesses you have free people marketing your business and go go into a of course, going to network groups, network groups in the morning, you know, afternoon, you have some, in the evening, go and tell people about your business, say, I'm a photographer and I do this and that and that, and people start knowing you, people build a relationship with you, you build a relationship with people, and so you get a lot of work. I, I work for years in f photography and I'm doing marketing, I have a marketing business, I teach people how to do marketing for their business, so I go to network groups. And it's very helpful. It gives me a lot of clients. A lot of clients are getting for network groups. And it's also fun, you know, to start talking to people in a network group. And that's what I like doing, is networking with people. And here's the... I did this, this vlog. And now we're finishing the vlog number five. And it was really nice to be with you. I hope to be with you again uh, shortly, next day, tomorrow. And every day, give me a vlog. Okay, bye.